Hi everyone, Dennis Bully from Acoustic Fields. Today we're going to talk about pressure level listening. When you're in your room, and those of you that have had your own room for many, many years, know that certain songs sound really balanced at certain volumes or certain pressure levels. Volume, pressure level, it's the same thing, right? All rooms kind of have a resonant frequency. They sound good at a particular pressure level. Now that's a factor of many things, room volume, amount of treatment, source uh, material, is it all heavy in the low end? So you always have to kind of step back and look. Schroeder went so far as to, uh, you know, come up with the Schroeder frequency, which is a break point between wave and rave energy. But all rooms have a particular place on the volume knob where songs sound the best. And there's lots of reasons for that. Room sound is balanced with the presentation of the low, mids, and highs. That's the goal. It doesn't have to be a flat response, but the room has to behave in a balanced fashion. Okay, that's the goal. And we can achieve that. So pressure level SPL allows for balance of energy where everything is heard. That's the goal. The lows, a lot of people will pick songs that don't have low frequency uh, energy in them when they're demonstrating their rooms. And I know the reason for that, because the room can't deal with the low frequency energy. And we all know there's a host of reasons for that. But we want to make sure everything is heard. There is joy in all octave bands, okay? Not just the mids and the highs. I, you know, a lot, I love mids and highs. I love the harmonics with the emotional connectivity. But I will push, the, push both of my rooms to see how they handle low frequency. Because we all know our stance on that. That's the target that we have to go after first. Low frequencies are the hardest to manage. The most expensive take the most surface area coverage. And have to be done right if you're in a critical listening environment. Lows must be defined, separated, have a good attack and decay. I get almost as much joy out of listening to the low end of our rooms as I do the mids and the highs. My thinking is anybody can enjoy the mids and highs, but to truly have a room that's low frequency pressure managed, if, you, if you've never heard anything like that, and I would venture to say 95% of you have not, you, you just won't believe it. It's amazing. I, I don't have the words for it. The mids, there's a harmonic order, first, second, and third orders, clean, clear, you can hear everything. The highs, they float, they should float through the air. Diffusion will add to that process, believe me. For those of you who haven't had the benefit of diffusion, please contact us and we'll help you, you know, look at the usage and try to figure out where diffusion can really help. Diffusion's a great tool. But you got to have a lot of prerequisites. You got to do your homework first before you introduce it. It'll make your room sound worse and drain your bank account because it's expensive. They're expensive to build. My guys hate building them. I think one of our, uh, I think our QDA 23 series is 90 some pieces inside and out. Nobody likes to put that much together. So the guys in the shop the other day were telling me, we really hate putting these diffusers together. And I said, you do, huh? Well, how about if I take away the CNC machines that rough cut all the pieces? Because we have CNC machines where you put full sheets of material in and they cut all the pieces and shove them out the other side. So you're complaining about assembling those? Well, then you can rough cut all the pieces too then. Well, no, they don't want to do that. They'll, they'll just keep the CNCs and be quiet. Mission accomplished. All right, floating. We love that high sparkle and float where they stay in the air. And that's what we love. That's what we want. And you can get that with diffusion. Everything in the room is presented without distortion. That's the goal, room distortion. If your equipment has distortion, well, that's on the equipment and a little bit on you. Now, I've had a lot of people when they build our rooms and put their old gear in, they're like, wow, I like it, but now I understand, you know, what some of the people are saying about particular components. So everybody's room has to be balanced. What do we do for a pressure range? 
80 to 85 dB is kind of the standard pressure range we, we use in our two-channel, our mixed rooms and stuff like that, unless the client, you know, is, is working at, at higher pressures. The metal guys, the EDM guys, crazy pressure levels. It's going to require treatment. I was thinking about a ratio here to tell you, you know, if we go to 90 dB, it's about 10 to 12 percent more treatment. Go to 95, it's another 10, 15 percent more treatment. So in 10 dB, you could have 30 percent more treatment to get to the same, you know, response curve that you would at 80, 85. So that's important. So room design, we set the SPL range for the usage and what the client is about to achieve. Now, we don't set a specific number. We work with the range because everything varies. I mean, I've run pressure levels in our theater at 125. Well, when you got all those speakers and four subwoofers, it's easy to get to that point. It's not something you want to prolong over time, you know, but it's a test of the room. So there's all kinds of things we have to consider when we're doing room design. Stereophile Magazine years ago, if memory serves me correctly, did a survey and they found that those that took the numbers and the measurements, 83 dB SPL was, a, was an average number. So seems to be the case, at least with our project. So what do we got here? Volume. Oh, we got room size, volume, treatment, and usage. There's just four variables that we have to consider when we're designing and building a room. So lots of things to, to consider, lots of things to uh, look at, and then lots of things to implement. Pressure level listening. Think about it when you're doing your room design. Hope this helps. Thank you. Thank you for watching this video, and if you liked it, please give us a thumbs up. We also have a newsletter that you can subscribe to, so please do that because we offer special price discounts to only those on our newsletter. And then don't forget about our forum. We have started a forum on our own website where people ask questions and I usually get a chance every couple of days to look at it. There's an interchange between people on the forum and we'll give you real answers uh, on a regular basis. So that'll help you. Thank you.